In this video, we will see about the SOAP web services. What is SOAP? SOAP is an acronym for Simple Object Access Protocol. It is an XML based messaging protocol for exchanging information among computers. It is a communication protocol designed to communicate via internet. It can extend HTTP for XML messaging. It provides data transport for web services. It can also be used to exchange complete documents or call a remote procedure. It is also used for broadcasting a message. It is platform and language independent. Although SOAP can be used in variety of messaging systems and can be delivered through a variety of transport protocols, the initial focus of SOAP is remote procedure calls that is transported through HTTP. Why we use SOAP? It is important for web application to able to communicate over the internet. The best way to communicate between applications is over HTTP because HTTP is supported by all internet browsers and servers. SOAP was created to accomplish this. SOAP Building Blocks A SOAP message is an ordinary XML document containing the following elements. First one, envelope. It defines the start and end of the message. It is a mandatory element. Two, header. It contains any optional attributes of the message used in processing the message. It is an optional element. Three, body. It contains the XML data comprising the message that is being sent. It is a mandatory element. Fault. An optional fault element. It provides information about errors that occur while processing the message. SOAP message structure. The following depicts the general structure of a SOAP message. SOAP envelope. It indicates the start and end of the message so that the receiver knows when an entire message has been received. The SOAP envelope element is the root element of SOAP message. This element defines the XML document as a SOAP message. In the below code, the namespace defines the envelope as SOAP envelope and the encoding style attribute is used to define the data types used in the document. Next, header. The optional SOAP header element, it contains application specific information about the SOAP message such as authentication, payment, etc. In the below code, it contains a header with trans element, a must understand attribute with a value of 1 and a value of 234. The must understand attribute is used to indicate whether a header entry is mandatory or optional for the recipient to process. Body. The SOAP body is a mandatory element that contains the application defined XML data that is being exchanged in the SOAP message. This element contains the actual SOAP message that is intended for the ultimate endpoint of the message. The example shows about the request the price request of price of apples. It is a request message. So fault. The optional SOAP fault element, it is used to indicate error messages. The if an error occurs during processing, the response to a SOAP message is a SOAP fault element in a body of message and the fault is returned to the sender of the message. A SOAP message can carry only one fault block and fault is optional part of a SOAP message. The SOAP fault element has the following sub-elements, fault code, fault string, fault actor, detail. And the fault code values defined below must be used in the fault code element when they're describing the faults. They are version mismatch, must understand, 
client server soap binding the soap specification defines the structure of the messages and not how they are exchanged this gap is being filled by what is called soap bindings soap bindings are mechanisms which allow soap messages to be effectively exchanged using a transport protocol most soap implementations provide bindings for common transport protocol such as http or smtp a soap http request specifies at least two headers content type and content length a soap example in the example below a get stock price request is sent to the server the request has a stock name parameter and a price parameter that will be returned in the response this is an example of a soap request in that uh, the content type header of a soap request and response it defines the mime type for the message and the character encoding used for xml body of the request or response and the content length header uh, is specifies the number of bytes in the body of the request or response and this is an example of the soap response message it gives a response about the price thank you